Hi, this is Travis from POSSkies.com. Today we're reviewing the DS9908 and this is an upgraded model of the DS9808 which has been a very successful scanner for a long time. It's a hybrid presentation and uh, triggered scanner with a built-in stand. So in the stand, it works within an auto-sensing mode. You'll see a big field of light. And then when you pick it up, you get a reticle and you can scan uh, very um, targeted barcodes on it. So Zebra really upgraded the performance of the scanner. The old scanner was a very good scanner in auto-sense mode. You got pretty rapid scans. With the new scanner, with a very, very aggressive scan engine, you can really tune it. And you can see how aggressively it can scan now. So that means quicker reads, um, less having to line up the barcode properly. As soon as it's in that auto-sensing field of light, it can scan the uh, barcodes no problem whatsoever. It also has multi-code capabilities, so if the box that you're using has multiple barcodes on it and you want to scan them in a very specific order, like you're doing some kind of registration for a serial number, uh, manufacturer date, etc., then you can scan it and fill out a form for you automatically. So that's multi-code. It takes a little work to set up, but it is a unique feature. Um, in trigger mode, it won't scan automatically. You use the dot to scan which one you want. So you can see I scan this same barcode the entire time. I'm going to scan one barcode above it. And it's very precise. Wherever that dot is, is what I'm scanning. I'll try it one more time. I'm going to scan um, 20 this time. And even with all the barcodes kind of lined up together, you can scan a very specific barcode. So your default triggered mode, you'll see the red dot, and it's pretty precise. So there's, uh, here's uh, 100, 0, 90. And I only scanned that one barcode. Here's uh, 100, 0, 85. And I'm scanning just that one. Um, if I turn it, I'm gonna scan 100082. And that one wasn't quite as accurate. And there we go. Um, if you need to get even more specific on it and you're worried about scanning the wrong barcode, there is a ver uh, mode you can put the scanner into called pickless mode. And once you're in that mode, you'll be even more accurate uh, and it's really going to be precise, so it, it um, slows down the motion tolerance a little bit and makes sure you get an accurate read on that. Um, and then as soon as you set it down, it puts it back into presentation mode and it can rapid scan barcodes again. So on the DS9808, in order to get it from presentation mode to trigger mode, there's a mechanical button on the bottom. When the button gets pushed in, and it's presentation mode, when it pops out, it's in trigger mode. So it worked, um, but uh, sometimes that button would break over time or it wear out any kind of mechanical product can wait over time. So they improved the system on the 9808 and they did it by two ways. So again, it's in presentation mode. When you pick it up, it's in trigger mode, but there is no switch on the bottom. That's gone now. Instead, they added a capacitive trigger. So if you watch the top, the green light at the top, when I touch it, it switches into trigger mode. So now you can actually scan precise things. So if you have like a, um, a little tag or something like that you want to scan precisely without actually having to take it off the ground. Additionally, if you were wearing gloves and you need it to um, scan in a triggered mode, it does it by sensing motion. There's an accelerometer on it. So you get auto sensing either through touch or through lifting. Either way, you get into auto sense mode uh, without having to use a mechanical trigger. It's pretty cool.
There's of course a top notch scan engine in it. Here I have just normal barcodes. I'm gonna isolate a single barcode here and do the normal scratch test that we do. So I'm gonna make a bunch of pen marks all over it. So you can see how scratched up that is. And it scans no problem in presentation. Or triggered mode, scratch it up. it okay so it's all balled up and then there's the barcode now and it still scans it so your worn faded damaged barcodes as uh, long as there's lines it'll read of course, if the barcode gets broken, then it can't read it, but as long as your barcode is intact, it should be able to get a read, no problem. Scanning 2D barcodes, scanning off screens, this works really well, so if you're doing mobile couponing. Nothing to worry about. Scans it just fine. If you're gonna do a lot of screen scanning, there actually is a screen mode that you can select for your barcode scanner to make it even better at scanning off screens. Uh, but even out of the box, it's gonna read a cell phone. The DS9908 has amazing motion tolerance. Here I have barcodes on a card and I'm gonna spin it around and we'll see if the scanner can scan. Yeah, so no problems on that. And then I'm gonna do one other version of this test. We're gonna go from being on a flat surface to being on a round surface. So I have a can with a bunch of barcodes kind of slapped on them. And we will scan some barcodes off the can. So again, it scanned it without problem. The whole idea is that you can be very fast. You just pass the barcode through the field of light and it'll scan. Out of this box, the scanner is going to scan all standard 1D, 2D barcodes without problem. Your standard UPC, your code 128, GS1, EAN, and then into your 2D uh, barcodes. So you have uh, very dense QR codes and data matrix codes. You know, there's the big ones. And then we'll get that little small data matrix and it scans it without problem. Maxi, Aztec, so really, uh, and PDF 417, your driver's license code. So all your standard barcodes and scans, there's a couple kind of obsolete barcodes or not readily uh, used barcodes that are also available to scan, but you'll need to enable those either through 123 scan or using the programming manual. Overall, the DS9908 is a fantastic product. Whether you want a triggered scanner or hands-free scanner, uh, it does both very, very well. It scans uh, just about as well as any other Zebra scanner or any uh, other manufacturer scanner out there on the market. One place that it works really well and where this type of scanner is really popular is in smaller grocery operations where you have a separate scale. You want to be able to have scanning similar to a scanner scale, uh, but you also want a triggered scanner. So it's kind of a good hybrid option where you have a separate scale right next to the scanner uh, and you can weigh things and scan them and then you don't have to have um, put so much money into a singular uh, scanner scale. You have instead a hybrid scanner. So that's a very popular use for this. Uh, but anywhere where you need a hands-free scanner, but then you want some precision, it's a great uh, scanner overall. So highly recommended. Uh, if this is the type of scanner you're looking for, then this is probably the best one to go with. For more information on the DS9908 or to purchase, please visit us at pusguys.com. Thanks.